I can I ask you any question? You want to ask me any question? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Ask me a question. Why do you suck so bad? Oh, man. shaking ladies and gentlemen you already know it's your boy michael wade and i am back again for another season of cast bar i'll remain your host and i'm probably sure you're wondering why i'm sitting in this empty ass studio i feel a little bit like fresh prince but i ain't gonna lie to you we got some new things coming in store for this season like we got a new set that's gonna look like a man cave that's gonna be the feel that's gonna be the vibe Secondly, I'm gonna be joined by two members of the Cassius Life team, Bruce and Beans, to help me bridge the gap between the humorous content and the truthful content, which lives on our website, CassiusLife.com. Lastly, you know we still gonna have the high-powered lineup of celebrity guests, and they'll help me elevate the conversation, which is now a safe space for black men to kick back, relax, and talk about the things that really matter in our lives. Though we had some good times last season, I took some W's. Get up, get up, yes, get it's up. all we need. Get up, it's all we need. Get up, get up. I took some L's. Ah, nope. so excited. what's going on too here? Too excited. No, too excited. that's a wrap for um, this episode of Get Your Ass Whooped. <laughs> and make sure you swipe up There's for, more for all the highlights. It's, it's, but understand, it was all about casual conversation over video gameplay. This season, though, we gonna have new and better. However, before we get into that, let's take a look back at season one to see some of your greatest moments, some of your favorite highlights, favorite celebrity guests, and epic video game standoffs. Let's check it out. Have you? It's fire. This is a nice setup, you guys. It's a little bit cool. See, you, nah, you fucking you, you put voodoo on my, <laughs> my controller you go already. Right, you go right. I did, look. Uh, it feels good, the hard work paying off. That was like one of the goals I wanted for this album. It's all about doing new things, like whooping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but like, go to sleep. Yo, you know, they ain't there. I'm gonna let you up though. I'm gonna let you up. You're Yo, the homie. nah, nah, nah. nah you I don't the need the mercy. Nah, you the homie. You're I the appreciate homie. that. I, I appreciate that. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. You wanted my moves. <laughs> mm. You wanted my moves. Tell him to get off. It's Come on. Head. Come on. Oh, nah. Come on, baby. I need to watch more UFC to understand how it actually works. Okay, so you won one. Like everybody seen, <laughs> seen what Dro doing with his life and so. Oh, that got real different. See, this is why I don't like to ask these questions. This is why I don't like to ask these questions. And that's real. Ooh, f fuck. That's what I was waiting for. This got knocked out? That's what I was waiting for. Yo, come on, what? dog. This fatherhood experience. Ooh. What would you say it has done to your temperament? Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I guess it's made me more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how you so comfortable with the names and the peeps. See, I feel like I'm getting set up. I mean, I've been taking a couple of L's, so sometimes you take L's and it gets better, no? Yeah, this is very true. You very true. Me. That is very true. You know, last year and, and just dealing with, you know, dark little periods and, and just taking everything in and just all the hatred, all the shit motherfuckers just always want to say about a nigga all the time. I just bottle that in. So the only thing I had on my mind was shit, I'm just bored with life. I don't really want to be here. So. I just remember being in that zone and thinking about suicide and was like, nah, I gotta, um, how can I flip it? This song, you know, it's about what's behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. What's the things that people don't see, you know, that they might uh, not want to show the world. It's about family though, family keeps you grounded, you know, so that's the biggest bit. thing that keeps me grounded, honestly, mm -hmm. family. Uh, you know, you can say whatever you want, do whatever you want, but like family is the one thing that kind of let you know exactly who you are. Uh, and who's your rival? Who keep you on your toes? Who keep me? Grams, my grandmother, that's my rival. When I go to jail, uh, if anything happened negative, negatively, I think of her, you mm -hmm. feel me? Anything transpire uh, positively, I think of her. So she, that's, she keep me on my toes. Tell us about a moment that happened in the past you wish you could just hit the reset button on, it never happened, you could do it over. I shouldn't have threw the chair at Puff. 
You heard I would, it here. I would hit reset on that. That was uh, uh, that was unwise at that time. The other two I lost, but they were close fights. So I think I'm still gonna take a victory from that because you never take a loss if you learn a lesson. So I learned a lesson. So that still makes me victorious. Can we go one more? Yeah, yeah. We gonna go one more. We gonna go one more. He said, "Of course." Of course. Yeah, this but, is too much fun. Um, Cancel the rest of my day. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Me and Mike exactly playing we need. the rest of the afternoon. So all content from season one can be found on CassiusLife.com. You can go check that out if you want to catch up on anything. Listen, all the L's, we leave those in the past. Season two, jam-packed. You don't want to miss it, so don't get lost, but make sure you catch up. Until then, Michael Wade.